This is the beginning of part two of the video walkthrough on the blog module. So if we keep going here, we have some permissioning options as well. Um, for instance, comments, re, uh, comments by registered users. Is it allowed, required approval or disallowed? And then comments by unauthenticated users. So again, allowed, required approval or completely disallowed and track back comments as well. The same three options. Um, also, uh, we can send uh, email notifications uh, to the blog uh, owner after comments or trackbacks are posted. And we can we also have the option to use CAPTCHA for, for comments to validate if this is not uh, spam. Um, again, CAPTCHA helps on that sense. Uh, trackback options. Uh, to be honest here, I've never used this trackback auto discovery much so I cannot talk uh, much about this option here. Uh, syndicated options, if uh, syndicate this blog is checked then there will be an RSS feed. This will be uh, available via an RSS feed. If uh, syndicate independently is checked, uh, this blog, in, the, in our case we are just creating one blog, but the same uh, blog module can host a bunch of independent uh, blogs as well. So you can you can check this if each blog will be syndicated independently or you can uncheck if all different blogs will be syndicated under the same uh, under one, the same URL and on the same address. And in this field here is used to uh, specify uh, the email address of the managing editor for that feed. Okay, so let's scroll down. Time zone, basically this is the, the, the uh, time zone that the, the posts will be uh, referenced to. For instance, uh, we may have this blog installed in a server uh, that is that has a different time zone as compared to to your time zone, to time zone that you want uh, th those posts to be made of, uh, to be referenced by. So you can specify the time zone, the culture, the date format. I'm going to leave all of that as is. We have quite some options here. This option, regenerate blog permalinks. Uh, you you may want to use to click on this option in case, uh, for in case at the beginning you are not using a friendly a user friendly URL uh, friendly module, but then later on down the road you may have changed that and you might start to use that. So you can come back here and regenerate all the permalinks for the blog. And other child blogs. Now, you can also add uh, multiple blogs under the same uh, main blog. So again, we're not going to be using that one. So at the end here, I'm just going to click update. Okay, now we are back here to the main page. Uh, going back to reorganizing the, all those modules, one of the things that I recommend doing is uh, the the view blog. Uh, module, you can basically um, hide that module. You should hide that module from the regular users because this is more of an admin module. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this module uh, because just to to let you know what this module is about, you can add any one of those uh, blog related modules to any pane within uh, within this page. Okay. And here you can see the title, you can specify if it's in the top and the bottom of the pane. Now, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to put this one all the way down. So I'm going to move this to the bottom of this pile of modules. Not only that, but I'm also going to go back to the module uh, settings. And I'm going to make this module only visible to admin. So if I scroll down. I will make this, I will uncheck inherited view permission and I will make this viewable only by admins. So let's keep like this. Because again, the, the, the blog owner is an admin of the site. So again, it's it this, this uh, module will not be visible to regular users. Um, now, another module that I would recommend to set as <coughs> admin only is the new, the new blog uh, module as well. Because with this blog, with this module, you can you can uh, add blog entries, 
you can let's see here. You can also go to the blog settings to the uh, settings specific to this uh, blog. So I'm gonna also move this all the way down by going to move and then move button. And I'll also adjust the permissions of this module to be seen just by the blog owner. In this case, it's host level. So I'm just gonna uncheck this, make it visible to administrators only, and click update. Actually, I think I made a mistake here. This view blog module is the main blog, the main module that uh, will list all the entries that were posted. So let's get this back in place here. Let's move this to the top, and let's uh, work again on the um, permissions of this module. It should be visible. It should inherit from on the page permissions again. Skip there and let's click update. Yeah, so this is the actual the the main module that will list all the most recent entries. Now, this part here at the top where I got confused, this part is not visible to the regular users, it's just visible to to the blog administrator. Now let's go down here and have a look at the those two uh, other modules. We can use it or not. I mean, uh, this will uh, list the different categories that you may have created for your blog entries. And this will list the, the tags that you have that you may have uh, placed in your in your posting. So uh, just for a second example, we're going to keep them, but we're going to uh, choose a more appropriate place for them. We're going to uh, move those two modules to the left to the right side of the of this page. So basically, we're just going to go to the action menu move move to the right pane so it will be placed on the right side of the of the of the page categories on the right side and blog tags on the right side as well again it's up to you to decide if you want all those different uh, modules for instance in the DNN uh, website we just have the ones on the left side the main area is um, used to to show the preview the, the, the first uh, part of the blog uh, entry, but the right side uh, doesn't have anything here related to the to the blog module. But in our case here, we're just gonna place it, just gonna leave them here, just for the sake of example. Let's let's add uh, one or two categories here. Let's go to edit categories, and let's add. Let's say that I'll be posting. Uh, blog entry, blog uh, post about um, development. So let me click, and I can select if there is a hierarchy of categories. I can select here the other one, but now, okay, this is the first one. So let's just click, click on add, and I'm gonna add a second one called uh, design. So the second one is called design, I'm going to add, or I could also select development as the main one and design as a secondary one, but in our case, just two categories, let's click on add. And then let's click on back, so we can go back to the main page. Okay, so right now it shows each category and it shows zero posts under each one. This is the end of part two of the video walkthrough on the